Hello teachers, my name is Wendy. First off, I just wanna say congratulations on being part of the eJoy team. I don't know if you knew this, but eJoy launched in 2009 and was one of the first schools in China to use native English speakers. Right now, the school has about 3,000 students and over 200 teachers, and those numbers keep on growing. So congratulations on being part of this team. Now, as a new teacher, you probably have so many questions. So in this video, we're gonna try to answer as many as possible. We're gonna break up this video in six parts. We're gonna talk about the eJoy webpage and how to use it, as well as how to review our class material. We're also gonna talk about how we can do trial classes, policies if you wanna go on vacation or take a leave, filing reports after class, how to use the class in platform, and finally, teacher evaluations, which we do on a two to three month basis. Okay, so let's dive right into the first point. Let's take a look at the eJoy webpage. Now this is something I would recommend you keeping in your favorites tab because you are going to be entering every day that you teach. When you have been confirmed as a new teacher here at eJoy, you're gonna receive a login info um, to your email address for this website. So keep an eye for that. You're also gonna receive information about your contract. So again, please read those guidelines carefully. Okay, so let's take a peek at our eJoy teacher portal page. The main page takes you to a calendar and that's where you're going to be able to keep track of the students you have each day of the week. You can see them there. Now the first tab up here is the My Students tab. That's where you're going to see uh, information about your students, their email, should you need to contact them. And an important thing to keep in mind is their CS. Now CS stands for customer service staff and this is the eJoy admin that's responsible for that particular student. So if you have any concerns about this student, just send a message to them via Classen. On this page you can also hit the click button twice which will then take you to a page where you can see a list of a bunch of details about the student, previous classes they've had, as well as your own reports that you filed after class. We're gonna get into more details about this later. So there you go. On this page, you're gonna find all the details you need about your student. Our next tab is the Our Trial Classes tab. So we're gonna, again, get into more details about this tab more up ahead in the video. So let's go ahead now and hit the Textbook and Lesson Plan tab. And so here's where you're gonna see all of the lesson material you will be teaching at eJoy. Wow, it definitely can seem overwhelming, but keep in mind that teachers, they generally don't teach all of the subjects. Um, the most commonly used materials that we use here at eJoy are Step Into Reading, Right Source, Wonders, and Let's Go Phonics. So Step Into Reading and Wonders, they basically follow a similar pattern where the student must read a short story or an article and then analyze vocabulary and comprehension questions about the reading. Now, Right Source is more for advanced students um, who want to specifically improve their grammar and their writing skills. Let's Go Phonics is for toddlers who still don't know how to read. And so they're gonna learn easy vocabulary such as colors, animals, letter names, short greetings, etc. So as soon as you've gained a student, I would recommend skimming over that particular material to kind of get a hang of the pattern in which it's taught. But luckily, there's so many training videos where you can find on the training videos tab of very talented teachers teaching these specific lessons and lesson material. So I would really recommend looking those over. They're a huge help. Now from this page, you can actually download the material directly and save them on your computer. However, you can also access your teaching material within the class in platform. And I'm gonna show you how to do this more up ahead in the video. So definitely, I would recommend playing around with the eJoy webpage and getting the hang of its features. Okay, let's go to point number two, our trial classes. 
Now, when you first become a teacher here at eJoy, it's super exciting when you get an email saying that you've been scheduled a trial class. Now, this email contains all the information you need to know in order to prepare well for this trial class. This email will tell you, of course, the student's name, the material you will be teaching, and also a link with more details about this particular student. Now, this link will tell you details, for example, about their English level, how much they understand, how much they can speak, as well as what they expect from you as a teacher. For example, whether they want you to be strict with homework assignments or whether they want you to concentrate on student-teacher interaction and so on. So when you open up the class material, um, you really want to think of ways that you can adapt the material to this particular student. Now, if they ask you not to follow the lesson plan strictly, which is something I would recommend you doing anyways, then you can maybe see ways that you can add maybe extra games or activities. Now, to get some more ideas on how to do this, I would recommend you watching the video series, How to Teach Outside the Box. So once you've finished giving a trial class, you then need to go to the eJoy Teacher Portal page and hit the Trial Classes tab. So here you will be able to file a report and give more details about how the student performed and any improvements needed. Now, this is a great opportunity to stay positive and also tell the parents how you plan on helping the student improve their English skills. If the student chooses you, you will receive an email confirming it, which is, of course is always very exciting. Now, if you want to see more details on how you can give a good trial class, I would recommend you watching the video how to win over students and parents in the trial class. Something to keep in mind is that the trial class should only be 20 minutes long. However, if you want to, you can extend it. Now you're probably wondering, okay, but is the trial class paid for? And the answer is no, it's not. However, when the student chooses you, you have guaranteed work for months, sometimes even years. That's the great thing about these trial classes. Some companies, they will pay for a trial class, but it's only for the student to enroll with the school and then you never see that student ever again. So try to see it as self-promotion and most likely you will get accepted because you got accepted to eat joy. So that means that you're an awesome teacher. So once you get accepted with the student, you will be teaching 30 minute classes, 45 minute classes or 60 minute classes. This of course all depends on what the student has chosen. Now let's say you had a student at 7 p.m. and then you have another student at 7.30 p.m. You're probably wondering, well, what, when am I gonna get a chance to go to the bathroom or take a sip of water? Well, we are permitted to teach 29 minute classes. So you have about a minute to do this. However, if you do need more time, we are flexible. You can send a message to the student via class in your next student, informing them that you might be a little bit late. Of course, we don't want to make this a habit, but I mean, we're not robots, right? So definitely keep that in mind that we can be flexible. Okay, so let's go ahead to point number three, policies. Now, to ask for leave, again, you have to do this on the eJoy teacher portal page. Simply hit the leave request tab, then submit leave. There is a tiny calendar that will appear and you can check off the classes you would like to be excused from. Now, the great thing about this system is that you don't have to ask for leave for an entire day. Say, for example, you have a doctor's appointment right before your first class and you know you won't be home on time for your 7 p.m. class, but for you for sure will be home for the following classes. So then you can just ask for leave for one time slot, which is awesome. Now keep in mind the notice below. It says you must make the leave request in our system at least 24 hours before the class. The request can only be made two weeks in advance. Please email the students at jingpingxi at hotmail.com if you want to ask for a date more than two weeks away. Okay, but what happens if maybe you wake up with a headache less than 24 hours before your actual lesson? 
Well, the great thing about eJoy is that you have up to six hours before your lesson to ask for a leave. So if this is the case, you would follow a different procedure. Again, you would email the jingpingxi at hotmail.com informing them of your emergency. And then you would have to send a message to all of your students informing them of the change. Now you can message your students via Classin or you can again email them directly, finding their email in their student details page. Something to keep in mind is that once a student has chosen you, their CS will add them, add their contacts to your class in. And of course you would follow this same procedure should you need to go on an extended vacation. That's the great thing about eJoy. It's flexible for both the student and the teacher. Now, after you joined eJoy, you most likely got a PDF with uh, written guidelines and policies. So make sure to continually look this over and make sure you understand some of the points mentioned. So I would recommend you saving this somewhere on your computer where you can easily access it. So should you need to review it. Okay, let's go to point number four, filing reports after class. So something you should never forget to do once you finish teaching a class is to file the report. I like to do them as soon as I say goodbye to the last student that I teach that day while everything is still fresh in my memory. So simply go to your eJoy homepage and scroll down to the students shown in your calendar for the day. One quick way uh, to file a report is to hit the edit button. There the following options will pop up. This time, performance, homework, and next time. In the this time section, you should type in the class material you covered in that class. For example, RAS level D, where animals live. In the performance, try to stay positive and mention one specific example of where the student excelled. For example, Kevin even created his own sentences without my help. For example, the turtle and the fish live in the water. Wow, I didn't even say anything before he came up with that on his own. Great job today, Kevin. I usually file my reports this quick and easy way using the calendar on my home page. But let's say that your student was really struggling with something or maybe there's a bit of a bad behavior you've noticed from your student. If that's the case, then you'd have to hit the click button where you're then taken to the student's profile page. Scroll down to the date of your class and hit edit. This class report asks for the same exact information, only it has an extra box, improvements needed. So this is where you can express your concerns about the student, but remember to keep it positive. Once you've finished, hit the OK button and voila, the report has been filed and also your hours tally officially goes up as well. Now, after a certain amount of hours taught with a particular student, you will be asked to file a progress report. And that's gonna automatically pop up on your eJoy webpage. You can also, you can file the report with the same important points in mind, keep it positive, and give specific examples. There you go. So that's how you file student reports at the end of your classes. Now one quick tip I'd like to add is, let's say that you had eight students in a row. How are you going to remember all of the details for each student? Well, some teachers have found it to be a great idea to keep a teaching log with all of the separate points mentioned in the report. You know, performance, improvement, homework, etc. And during the lesson, they will be taking notes about the, the student's performance. So then it's easier for them to remember this at the end of their classes when they have to file the reports. So that's just another quick tip, keeping a teacher's log. Okay, point number five is how to use the Classin platform. Now, at first, Classin can seem a bit daunting when it's new, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's an amazing platform to teach English online. Now, because there's so many features with Classin, I'm just gonna talk about the basics. There's gonna be another video coming up very soon on how to use the Classin platform, so look out for this video, or maybe it's already published by the time you see this video. <laughs> So for starters, one thing you wanna have prepared is making sure you have the contacts of various CS admins from eJoy as well as your students. Um, the home icon is where you can see these chats. 
This same icon is where you're, you're going to see the enter button when it's time to log into your class. So it's going to turn green about 20 minutes before the lesson starts and it's going to let you know how many minutes are left before it begins. Class in, of course, has basic drawing and select tools, which you can see on the, the sidebar there. It's gonna help you guide your students throughout the lesson. The great thing about class in is that you can also access your lesson material right from the platform. Simply hit the cloud icon, and this is where you can browse through authorized resources and you can find your class material, open the PDF file, and then think of ways to teach the class material. Within Classin, you can also upload pictures, you can also share your screen, and you can import pictures as well as videos. Again, very soon, there's gonna be a video on giving more specific details on how to use Classin, so keep an eye on that for sure. Okay, our final point are teacher evaluations. Now to help us continue improving as a teacher, you will receive a teacher evaluation every two to three months. These evaluations will highlight your strengths as well as areas that you need to improve on. Now, don't get discouraged. Don't see it as a negative thing because we all need sometimes a little bit of a budge or encouragement to really reach our true potential. And sometimes we'll actually be surprised on how much we can improve as teachers. Now these teacher evaluations are also very good because they help the CS admins recommend us students. They will watch some of our recordings and maybe see which students would be a good match for us. And of course, if we make an effort to apply the suggestions mentioned in the teacher evaluation, we can get more easily more students, fill in our schedule, and I guarantee you that you're gonna enjoy your classes that much more when you get a little bit more tips from the other ad admins or other teachers as well. Every so often, there's gonna be new videos uploaded to the eJoy YouTube channel and of course, right now, there's already so many videos uploaded, so I would also recommend you browsing through them and getting some tips on how to improve your lessons, how to keep them interactive and fun. So I'd recommend subscribing to this channel. Well, teachers, that concludes our training video. I really hope that it answered uh, many of your questions, but of course, we always have extra questions. So don't hesitate to get in contact with some of the eJoy admins or even in touch with some of the eJoy teachers to get some more tips or to um, answer some of the questions that we may have. Thank you so much for watching this video. Congratulations again for being part of this team and happy teaching.